this chessboard here and it has letters to represent the different chess pieces and you can click on a square and it will tell you what is there so if i click on these it's a blank space now if i click here it's a pawn it's a black pawn and it shows you the places that pawn could move and it, do, it does it appropriately with the white or black pawns keeping track of the direction I click on a bishop, it shows the diagonals that that bishop can move. Technically, um, it is meant to show everything that is in line with that with it. So all the diagonals in the case of a bishop, or the horizontal and vertical in the case of a rook. And the red squares are the ones where there are pieces on that space, and green is where it's empty. So... Technically, it, it can't actually move. This rook cannot actually move to these empty spaces because it can't travel over pieces, obviously. However, this is only meant to highlight, you know, what's in line and detecting what's there. So, I can detect rook moves, knight moves, bishop moves, queen moves, which is a lot of different places, and of course the king. The king can only go one square in any of the eight directions. Now, because the pieces don't move yet, um, it's hard to accurately show um, the way this is supposed to work. That's because I haven't actually added in the code for moving the pieces. And that's because that means first you have to select a piece, and then you would have to click it. But that means I have to have a separate variable to keep track of what was the most recently um, clicked thing. You know what I'm saying? So it makes it a little bit difficult. Um, so I, I could probably do that in the future where I will have movable pieces, but for now the ability to detect where each of the different pieces can move, uh, or at least what's in line with what would be their valid moves, is actually really incredible. This means I'm one step closer to creating my own chess game. And not that there's not a million chess games out there already, but to actually have my own and say I made a chess game, I would be very happy if I succeeded with that. And if you look at the, the status uh, uh, messages here in the terminal, you'll see how it tells the details in X and Y coordinates as well as chess uh, official chess coordinates what represents that square and if I exit that program if I, I'm going to exit the program exit the terminal and I'm going to just show you a little bit of the source code and what you'll see here is I have I have a lot of code going on here if you see my previous videos you'll have an idea of what some of it does but I didn't stream the entire thing this time. I've been working at it, trying to figure out a method that works. So you click a square, it will print information about what's at that square based on the vari variables. Because I set up the variables to be exactly what they are at the start of the game. And based on what it does, it will you know set colors. And, for example, it uses a direction variable to keep track based on whether you're moving black pawns or white pawns. It doesn't have any concept of turns. But, for example, in this case of the knight, it highlights eight different squares using chess grid highlight. There's actually a chess grid highlight function that I wrote. And I'm going to show you this function here is actually really cool. First, it does four different out-of-bounds checking procedures, conditionals, and then based on what the, um, yeah, based on whether there's something, a blank space or not, it sets the color to either green or to red if something occupies the space, and then it sets the rectangle structure and draws a rectangle based on that. So that's how it works, basically. So I can highlight the valid moves of the chess pieces. This is actually really, really exciting. And I'm going to be uploading the source to my Patreon if anybody wants it. But the game is not complete yet. But of course, if anybody does want to play chess, they don't need to wait till this game is finished, obviously. In fact... Uh, most of the time, I, I play chess on chess.com, which is like basically the world's official uh, chess site. 
and my username is Chastity White Rose. So uh, you can you can always challenge me to some some games on Chess.com. But for the programming experience, and just for the sake of saying I did it, I want to make finish making my chess game. But it could take weeks or months, depending on how much time I get to work on it. 